Let's start from the color palette. First, mix stiff brown icing. To get this color, I mix equal amount of chocolate and warm brown. You will need stiff and flat icing consistency. To get beige icing, just add white stiff icing to this bowl and mix thoroughly. In this way, you can get two shades of one color. We will need stiff and flooding icing consistency as well. To get deep green icing, mix two parts of the forest green and one part of the neon bright green food color gels. To get more bright icing, just add again the same ratio of these food color gels. We will need stiff and flat icing of this color. To turn your red icing in the deep natural color, just add a little bit coal black food color gel. Prepare a piping bag of stiff and flooding consistency. Squeeze a little bit stiff icing of the beige color and then use any brush to spread this icing. Take stiff brown icing and make outline. Please don't hurry up, just regulate the speed of your hand moving and pressure on your piping bag. It is not fast, but it is very relaxing. take flooding consistency. I saw different types how to flood cookies with royal icing, but I prefer to use this one because it helps me to avoid overlapping. Let icing crust over before next step. As you can see, I squeeze icing in the middle of the flooding area. And then use cookie pin or even toothpick to merge this flooding icing with the outline. Also, with these motions, I try to cover outline with flooding icing. I am convinced that this makes my cookie more pretty and neat. Don't wait until brown icing crusts over. Use beige icing immediately to flat tummy. To keep even shape of the tummy, I use different technique. First make border and then fill in the area. Let icing dry completely. To get fur effect, squeeze stiff icing not too much, just around the shape of the cookie. Take flat brush and spread this stiff icing around the area. I don't try to make icing smooth. Opposite, my movements look like stamping in different directions. Continue do it until you will be satisfied with the results. Let icing floor dry. To add more volume, I am airbrushing this cookie. For airbrushing, I usually mix alcohol with food color gel.
squeeze beige flooding icing in the shape of the triangle to create a snout. If you use too stiff icing, just squeeze and shake this icing to get smooth surface. Another tip, you must squeeze a lot of icing. Only big amount of the stiff icing can be shaken until smooth surface. Now it's time to outline the scarf. I use stiff icing. and immediately flood in the check border manner. Immediately flooding is another tip how to keep the right shape of your icing and to hide outlines. But anyway, if you don't want your icing merge, please let icing crust over. For Christmas tree I use transfer sheet. It is very easy way to create volume effect with it. You can find this transfer sheet with link behind this video. Let icing crust over and now I will show you the right way how to remove icing plate. Take off transfer sheet. Turn protected file upside down and gently roll protected file towards yourself. Only in this way your icing templates never break down. Squeeze two dots of black stiff icing to create eyes. And nose. To get alive to this eyes Squeeze tiny dot on the tip of the cookie pin and touch side of the eye. Use icing of the stiff or medium consistency to create a knitted effect. Squeeze the dot, stop squeezing and then smooth this dot to the side of the scalp. Squeeze two dots of the stiff icing and put on the top sprinkled icing template. Watch my another video tutorial how to create this impressive icing template. Now time to fix the Christmas tree. Squeeze stiff icing and put icing Christmas tree template on the top. Push a little bit and that's it. Don't forget to check your icing template. If you find gap between it and cookie, squeeze more stiff icing. Add final details with dry food color gel and pen. I hope this video tutorial reveals something new and useful for you, so tag me on Instagram, I'm more than happy to watch your results. Don't forget to tap like behind this video and check useful link.